Hey everybody, Kyle from Bolton E-Bikes back again. The first video I did on an e-bike specific multi-tool was a few months ago, and I'm finally happy to say that they have arrived. So if you are watching this video, that means that you can finally order the Bolton Electric Bikes multi-tool. So to my knowledge, this is the first multi-tool that's ever been developed specifically for electric bikes. So stay tuned to the end. I'm gonna make sure to give one of these away to somebody random who's watching this video. And I'll tell you how to order one of these and what the price is along with another special cool little thing you can get with it. All right, so just as a reminder as to what the tool comes with, there were a couple of small tweaks based on the feedback everyone provided from the first prototype tool, which you may remember being red. It's now black and laser engraved, of course, with Bolton e-bikes on it. So first things off that's really unique is the wrench. So it's adjustable from eight to 18 millimeters. So that means for all of the hub motor bikes out there that have wheels that are bolted on, you actually have a tool that can remove those nuts and pull the wheel off on the side of the road or a trail if needed. So that's the most important thing I think that's been added to a multi-tool that hasn't been available before. Otherwise you had to carry around a wrench which is not a bad option, but they're usually bigger. Sometimes they don't fit in bags. They just cause all sorts of problems. So this one's adjustable. You only have to have this one, no matter what the size is. Now, in addition to that, we do have the standard Allen wrenches of various sizes, all the way from a two and a half millimeter, three millimeter, four, five, six, eight. And you have a number two Phillips head as well, which is common for the derailleur, sometimes the screens use Phillip head screws. Uh, the buttons for some of the screens have a Phillips screw on them on the handlebars. Uh, a few other things that aren't typical on a regular pedal bike where you might need one of these as well. Okay, like I said, you have a wrench. So basically you swivel it into place, give it a little tug and that locks it in. And then you can put it right onto any size nut automatically adjusts and then you can tighten it down and do the opposite direction, of course, to loosen it up just like so. And then as far as the Allen wrenches go, a six millimeter is very common on the seat posts. Now you'll see another thing right here. That's the eight millimeter. So you just pop that guy off, stick it on the end, and now you have an eight millimeter. That's something that was not on the prototype that I was missing. Now this particular bike doesn't have an eight millimeter slot right here, but many bikes do have something like that on the cranks or somewhere else on the bike. So I wanted to make sure that was included. And the four millimeter, very common on a lot of the brakes or other accessories on the handlebars like the shifter right here. And then if you get down into the three millimeters, that's when you start getting into things like the grips that are locked on or some of the throttles that have a little set screw underneath to unlock them. And as well on this one, you could see that one fits the bolt right here for the screen. And then if you go down all the way to the smallest two and a half millimeter, that one is also very common on a lot of these little set screws. I think that's what's underneath this set screw for the buttons on this particular bike. And of course the Phillips head that I mentioned, you typically have two Phillips heads that are a limit adjustment, both a high and a low on a derailleur. And then sometimes depending on the version of the derailleur, you'll have a B screw somewhere on the back as well. So there's three different Phillips head screws that are very common on a bike, whether it's electric or not. So once again, like I said, if you're watching this video, that means the tool is now online and available for sale at boltonebikes.com. So it's $39.99 for the multi-tool, but for the first 50 people that buy one of these, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in one of these survival style card tools. It can go in your wallet or in your pocket or in your saddlebag for free. So if you want two different tools for the price of one, be one of the first 50 people to buy one of these guys and I'll toss one of these guys in. It's got a nice little cord that you can use to tie things up. 
Uh, it has some edges basically that you can use as a blade or a serrated blade, bottle opener, whatever else. So anything this does and do, <laughs> then you can add a few more functions with this guy. Now, as a final note before I cut this video off, why not just do a giveaway? So I did mention I was gonna give away one of these. So leave a comment in the comment section if you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook and just say e-bike tool and then give me a reason why you think you should need one of these. I'm gonna pick somebody at random to win one for free. Now, also, some of you might have been wondering why is there a giant box behind me and what in the world is in it? And the truth is, I'm not gonna tell you, in this video at least. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, come back for the next video where I review what's in this box.